Okay, a casual video for you today, but a very, very, very important one. It's one I get asked all the time. It's in my YouTube comments constantly. You guys wanna know how to prevent your stuff from getting stolen out of your hotel rooms. And yes, I'm at the Bellagio in Vegas right now, but you know, stuff happens at these luxury hotels and what I'm gonna to explain to you is gonna help you prevent your stuff from getting stolen anywhere. This is something that I utilize um, in Europe, in South America, in the Caribbean, you know, Cancun, Punta Cana, anywhere I go. I, I do these four or five little things and they severely limit the probability and possibility of something getting stolen. Now, of course, if you have an ambitious criminal and someone wants to come into your room, there's really nothing you can do, but it's about limiting the probability, limiting the possibility. And I'm gonna show you four or five things that you can do to almost ensure that something doesn't get stolen, misplaced, or thrown away. So I'm gonna get right into it. Number one, um, I like to stay at reputable hotels. I like to stay at hotels that have a good history, they have a good brand, they are reputable, they are very conscious of their goodwill, they hire good employees, you know, usually they're multinational corporations, and the last thing they want is an incident or police report or bad publicity in the press or social media. So I like to stay at really, really good hotel brands. I think that's very important. Of course, anything could happen. You could go to the win and something could, could get stolen, and you could stay at a Econo Lodge and have nothing happen, but in my experience, I like to stay at reputable brands, and I think that's very important to keeping your stuff safe and secure. Uh, number two, this one is probably second most important. It's the do not disturb sign. This needs to be on your door at all times. The second I get in my hotel room, this is going on my door and it stays there, I'd say about 95% of the time. Uh, the reason this is important is to keep people out of your room. And you might be thinking, James, no one really goes in my room. Are you sure about that? I get random knocks on my hotel door all the time, usually when I first get to my hotel, which is strange, or if I randomly forget to put this on. And it's not housekeeping, it's like maintenance, security, and it's always kind of peculiar. Like for example, at the Bellagio, I got here and like at night at like eight or nine o'clock, someone knocked on my door and said, we need to fix the shower head. And the shower head was perfectly functioning, still is. Now, if I would have been in here, they would have come right in and fixed that and they would have had the room to themselves. So I always like putting this on. Hotel staff are trained sternly to never, ever, ever enter a room if this is on. Um, a lot of elite hotels were severely reprimanded and employ, if not fire them, if they ever enter when this is on. So again, privacy, do not disturb sign on at all times. The only time I take it off is if I'm expecting room service or if I want housekeeping to come in, that is it. All right, number three, this might sound kind of counterintuitive, but it works for me. I never, ever, ever use my hotel safe. Um, there are a couple reasons for that. It's just something that I personally don't do. Um, number one, I don't think they are as safe or secure as they lead you to believe. Um, now again, I never use it, so I don't have any personal experience, but I've read some horror stories online. I know there are some universal access codes, and I have heard that there are people who specialize in hotel safes. So I just never use them. You know, if someone is gonna break into your room, I feel the likelihood of them going to the safe first is very high. I know if I was a thief, that's the first place I would go. And plus you can't really fit any large stuff in there anyway. Yes, you can fit some cash and some jewels, uh, but you can't fit like anything bulky in there. So to me, it just doesn't make any sense. What I like to do is if I have some cash or some jewels, first of all, I don't like to travel with like a lot of expensive, expensive stuff. I only travel with what I need. But if I do have some cash or some jewelry, I'm gonna hide it in my luggage. That is about 200 pounds of luggage right there. And if you wanna try to come find cash or jewels in there, good luck. It's gonna take you about 90 minutes. I know that because sometimes I forget where I hide it and it takes me about 90 minutes to find it. Sad, but true. So yeah, um, I like to hide my stuff like in a nook or somewhere just crazy in my suitcase. Again, I don't travel with a ton of cash. I don't travel with a lot of jewelry, but if I do, I personally feel more comfortable putting it somewhere in my suitcase uh, than I do in a hotel safe. All right, number four, I think this is the most important. I just got back from the gym and housekeeping came while I was at the gym. As you can see, my room is already clean, right? Like my room is perfectly organized. I am putting everything away before housekeeping comes. And the reason that is, is because I wanna limit the amount of stuff they can touch. If someone technically touches your stuff, that's an opportunity for that thing to get misplaced, thrown away, or stolen. So I wanna limit that. So anything that they can't touch has an opportunity to be safe and secure. So before housekeeping comes, I'm putting away everything. 
Like I'm putting away my clothes. I am pretty much closing my suitcases. I'm putting my shoes away in my duffel bag. The only shoes I have out are my athletics. Um, all of my laptop and electronic gear is in my backpack, zipped up in the corner. All right, so I don't leave anything out at all. No iPads out, um, no camera equipment out, no nothing out at all. And that way they have nothing to touch. Again, if they're gonna touch something, that's an opportunity for it to be misplaced, thrown away or stolen. And I don't want that at all. And number five, just to kind of build on that, um, I like to keep my room organized. You know, if you have stuff everywhere, it's kind of hard for housekeeping to know what you want to save and what you want thrown away. What is garbage and what is personal? So I'm organizing everything before housekeeping comes in. For example, I just don't leave my receipts everywhere because if my receipts are everywhere, they might think of them as trash and throw them out. So my receipts are in a bag and that bag is folded. And not only is the bag folded, the water goes on top. So they pretty much know not to touch this. Um, I wanted to save this Bellagio bag. So I did not put it anywhere on the floor. I'm not putting it anywhere next to the trash. I'm putting this right up here. I got some utensils and some food stuff in there so that stays nice and safe. It doesn't get thrown away. And then in the bathroom, um, yes, this is how I live. I basically put everything in one sink or at least on one side of the vanity. You know, I travel alone so I can get away with this. But basically when they walk in here, this is what they're seeing, right? So they know that there's nothing that needs to be thrown away. Whatever area is open, they can clean. Obviously this stuff is not to be touched. It's closed, you know, it's in a plastic bag. Everything is just kind of somewhat, you know, neatly positioned over here. So again, I like to keep things easy for housekeeping. I don't want them thinking or wondering, is this trash, should it be saved? You know, if you put some things that should be thrown away next to some important things, that's how you get into trouble. I don't want them to think at all. I just want it to be very clear, very straightforward. So that's why I'm pretty much picking up my entire room before housekeeping comes. For me, the biggest tragedy is when something gets thrown away. Maybe it is a note, or maybe it is a meal, an expensive meal from the night before that I left out. Uh, maybe it's receipts, or maybe it's just something personal like a knickknack that I wanted to keep. If you leave that out, there's always a potential that it's gonna get thrown away or misplaced or taken. So I don't leave anything to chance. Again, I've been doing this method for 13 years and I've yet to be bit once. Of course, anything can happen, okay? If you have someone who is adamant about coming into your room, going through your stuff, there's nothing preventing them from opening up that backpack. There's nothing preventing them from taking that backpack. There's nothing preventing anyone from sifting through the luggage. But I wanna make it as difficult as possible. All right, so that is it. That's how I protect my stuff from getting stolen, misplaced, or thrown away. Uh, not just in Vegas, this is what I do all over the world at every hotel I go to. And I really feel if you do these five things, you're gonna limit the potential of something negative happening.